tell me for the 2024 school year. We're very delighted and excited that you are here and we are appreciative of your presence. Today we have the spelling bee. Uh, we're going to start out with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner. So we're going to go ahead and do the Pledge of Allegiance real quick as well. Everybody on your feet. Proud to be an American. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag. Uh, we have uh, 
Chance Young for seventh grade. We have Gia Albury, Cameron Hassel, Patience Labati, Jarvis McKibben, Farzan Mabashir, Samantha Powell, King Rousseau, and Montavious Walters. Uh, for sixth grade, we have Andre Battle, Winter Foster, Wayne Foster, Boyd Griffiths Jr., Jamari Hatcher, Zachary Jones, Ryder Bradford Lark, Jamal McQuinn the second, Serenity Mormon, Ramel Morris, Omar Murillo, Tylen Oliver, Zoe Carson, Zakia Ponder, Camila Rios, and Brooklyn Williams. All right, so these are your contestants. We have your moderator this morning, who is Miss Angela Smith. We also have your judges, Miss Norwood McKibben, Abby Lewis, and Mr. Tucker. All right. Uh, so once again, we just ask that you're as quiet as possible. Make sure you show respect. Um, as the contestants are at the microphone, um, please try not to give them any indicators of how to spell the word, anything like that. Um, and young people, make sure you spell nice and clear. All right. So we can go ahead and get started. Let's see. Before we get started, students and teachers, thanks for bringing them. I know these guys are excited, but they're a little nervous too. So please give them their respect while they stand up here so they can focus and get these spelling words correct. Okay, any issues, teachers, please make sure you watch your students. Okay, any issues, they have to leave because they need silence to be able to spell these words. Good morning. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. It's a great day for a spelling bee. Are there any parents in the audience? I just want to recognize. Excellent. Okay. You know, the research shows that the number one factor in a student's success is parent involvement. So we want to thank you guys for being here today. Um, as we have a couple more students coming in, we are going to start off spellers with a warm-up practice round. This does not count. Just warming up, getting the butterflies out, so you can get accustomed to spelling. All right, speller number one. Your word is wag. This word is originally English, is a verb, and it means to move the tail to and fro or up and down. Wag. Wag. Spelling number two. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. It is a verb and it means to come upon by looking carefully. The word is find. The word is find. It's mm -hmm. okay. We're practicing. It's spelled F I N D. Oh, okay. It's all right. We're getting the nerves out. We're practicing. It's okay. Speller number three. The word is later. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is originally English. 
It is an adverb. At some time after a given time. Afterward. Later. Later. Spelling number four. The word is bike. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from an English word that was formed in French out of a Latin element plus a Greek element. It is a verb. To ride a vehicle that has two wheels, one behind the other, a steering handle and a seat, and usually moves by the action of the rider's feet upon the pedals. Bike. Like a video monitor. The word is deal. This word is originally English, but is a noun, an offering of a combination of products at a special price. Deal. Yeah, that's a good point. Yes. The bookstore is offering a deal for the month of August. Buy one book at full price and wait the second for free. Come on, man. Deal. Deal. Close. The word is spelled D E A L. We're practicing. Thank you. Good effort. The word is spelled D E A L. Spelling number six. I need everyone to remain quiet, please, as Coach Green instructed you guys. The word is wake. This word is originally English. It is a verb. To rouse from sleep. Wake. formed it from a Latin word, it is a noun, a vessel that is used most often for decoration or for flowers, vase. V-A-C-E? Actually, the word is spelled V-A-S-E. We're practicing. Spell number eight. The word is tune. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from an originally Greek word that passed through Latin to English. It is a noun, a musical composition, two. T-U-N-E. We're practicing, we're practicing. Spelling number nine. The word is grid. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from an English word probably formed from a word that passed from Latin to French to English. It is a noun, a network of uniformly spaced, horizontal, and perpendicular lines. Grid. Spell so number 10. The word is wow. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. There is no origin given for this word in our dictionary. Interjection. It is used as an exclamation of happiness, surprise, or strong feeling. Wow. Wow. W-O-W. Spelling number 11. The word is sips. This word has a homonym 
or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English, plural noun. Small taste of a drink, sips. Spell it number 12. The word is heap. This word is originally English. It is a noun. A pile. Heap. H-E-E-P. Heap. Actually, it's spelled H-E-A-P. Spell it number 13. The word is nest. This word is originally English, it is a noun, the place a bird builds for laying eggs and caring for its young. Nest. Nest, N-E-S-T, nest. Spell number 14. The word is rude. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word passed from Latin to French to English. It is an adjective. Offensive in manner or action, lacking courtesy or good manners, rude. R-U-D-E. Spell number 15. Is that the last cup, Spell? Originally English is a noun. The definition, a usually portable structure for use in climbing up or down that consists of two parallel side pieces joined by a series of cross pieces that serve as rest for the feet. Ladder. L-A-D-D-E-R. The word is sky. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word went from Old Norse to English. It is a noun. The space surrounding the earth. Sky. Spell number 17. The word is his. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. It is an adjective relating to him as possessor or owner. His. His. H-I-S. Spelling number 18. <laughs> the word is hard. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. It is an adjective. Not easy. Hard. Hard. H-A-R-D. <laughs> the word is roads. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. A plural noun, the parts of streets over which cars and other traffic move. Roads. Roads. R-O-A-D-F. Spell number 20. The word is this. This word is from an English word of Germanic origin. It is a pronoun. The person or thing that is present, or that has just been mentioned. This. This. T-H-I-S. This. Spell number 21. The word is park. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word passed from Latin to French to English. It is a noun. A piece of land 
maintained by a city or a town as a place of beauty or play. Park. P A R K. Spell number 22. The word is may. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word went from Latin to French to English. It is a noun, the fifth month of the calendar, May. M-A-Y-R. number 23. I'm just going to start saying Nick Spiller. Okay, so Nick Spiller. The word is open. This word is from English, from a Germanic element. It is a verb to move as a door or lid from its shut position. Open. O P E N. Yes. Okay. Another round for our practice. For another hand for our practice. <laughs> Excellent work. Not only was that a practice round for the spellers, but it was also a practice round for our audience. Remember, after the speller spells, try not to clap, okay? Um, young people, y'all ready? Good morning, everybody. That was a great segue. So, to make sure that we do not impact our scheduling operations, we're gonna have to make some changes real quick. So for right now, we can have all parents who are here. First of all, thank you for joining us. And I see some of you all are in the back area. If you all will come up a little closer for us. So as we have to move students, we can have the, the commotion in the back area, if you don't mind. Now, if you know you have, if you have to leave, if you prefer to stay in the back, that's fine. But if you will come up closer, if you can, we would greatly appreciate it. If we have any sixth grade or seventh grade classes in here, if we could have you all return to normal schedule, that would be great. Sixth or seventh grade classes. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Students, that does not require a lot of commotion. I need for you to follow the directions of your teachers. So Connections teachers, um, as we have to move, we will certainly want to keep that movement um, and the disruption to a minimum because we, we know we may run over schedule a little bit. And so we will assist with that process. Also, before I turn the mic back over to Coach Green, yes. So real quick, I kind of like to lighten the mood a little bit. So uh, y'all mind if I tell y'all a joke? Yes. All right, so here we go. What's more impressive than a talking dog? What's more impressive than a talking dog? You got it? A spelling bee! <laughs> that was great. That was great. That's a good dog. 
First speller, you may approach the microphone. Our first speller, lady? No? First speller? Okay. Okay, we have concluded the practice round. This is the official start to the spelling bee. Your word is valley. This word passed in English from Latin derived French. It is a noun, a low lying area of land that is usually located between hills or mountains. Valley. Can you repeat the word? Valley. Next speller. Your word is improve. Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. It is a verb to make more excellent or desirable. Improve. Next speller. The word is yesterday. This word is originally English. It is an adverb. On the day last on the day last pass, on the day before today. Yesterday. Next speller. The issue is that often, if I say it a little more, it's going to start ringing. The word is bronze. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from perhaps a Latin word that became Italian and then French. It is a noun. A substance made of copper and tin that is used to make industrial items, art and bells, bronze. Can you repeat the word? Bronze. B-R-O-N-Z-E, bronze. Next speller. The word is antlers. This word passed from Latin to French to English. It is a plural noun. Horns of animals of the deer family, typically present only in the male. Antlers. Antlers. A N T L E E R S. Yes. Next spell. Silence. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. Yes. I-L-E-N-C-E, silence. And I also should spell the previous word was antlers. It's spelled A-N-T-L-E-R-S. Next speller. Your word is marble. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. It is originally Greek. This word passed from Latin to French before, before coming to English. It is a noun, crystallized limestone that is capable of taking a high polish and that is extensively used, especially in architecture and sculpture. Marble. 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 In the The word is spelled M-A-R-B-L-E. Next speller. Your word is nighttime. This word consists of two originally English elements. It is a noun. The time from dusk to dawn. Nighttime. Nighttime. N I G H T I M E. The word is spelled N I G H T T I M E. Next speller. The word is popovers. This word consists of an English element of imitative origin plus an originally English element. It is a plural noun. Quick breads made from a thin batter of eggs, milk, and flour that steam expands them into hollow shells. Popovers. Popovers.
Next speller. Your word is putty. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from a French word. It is a noun. A cement with the consistency of dough used in fastening glass and sashes and stopping crevices in woodwork. Putty. Putty. P-U-T-T-Y. Putty. Next speller. Your word is cereal. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from French or Latin, which formed it from a Latin name. It is a noun. A prepared food of grain, such as oatmeal or cornflakes, eaten especially for breakfast. Cereal. C-E-R-E-A. That's our last spell, correct? Okay, let's give them a hand for this first round. No? Oh, I'm so sorry. Next spell. Your word is insult. This word comes from Latin derived French or Latin. It is a noun, an act or speech of disrespect or scorn. Insult. Insult. I N S U L T. Insult. Next spell. Your word is gallon. This word is from a Latin-derived French word that then became English. It is a noun, a unit of liquid volume equal to 231 cubic inches. Gallon. G-A-L-L-O-N. Gallon. Next speller. Your word is roughly. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is made up of English elements. It is an adverb with harshness or violence, severely, roughly. R-O-U-G-H-L-Y, roughly. Good spell it. Your word is practice. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word went from Greek to Latin to French. It is a verb. To perform an act often in order to acquire proficiency or skill. Practice. P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E. Next spell. Your word is fury. This word is from Latin-derived French. It is a noun. Violent, anger, or rage. Fury. If you are wild. Thank you. Next speller. Your word is howdy. This word is from an English phrase, an interjection. Used to express greeting. Howdy. You need to do it. Howdy. The word is spelled H O W D Y. Next speller. Your word is expressway. This word is from a part that passed from Latin to French to English and an originally English part. It is a noun. A high-speed divided highway for through traffic with controlled access. Expressway. Expressway. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-W-A-Y. Expressway. Next speller. Your word is razor. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from an ultimately Latin-derived French word that then became English. It is a noun, a sharp, fine-edged cutting instrument for shaving hair. 
Razor. Razor. R A Z O R. Next speller. Your word is hungrily. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word consists of originally English elements. It is an adverb and a matter marked by strong desire or craving, longingly, hungrily. Yes, the wolf looked hungrily at Little Red Riding Hood before roaring. The bear to eat you with, my dear, hungrily. I'm sorry, the word is spelled H U N G R I L Y. Oh. Next speller. Please hold your applause to the very end. Thank you. Your word is outfits. This word consists of an originally English element plus a perhaps Dutch derived English element. It is a plural noun. Clothing designed to be worn on special occasions or in particular situations. Outfits. O U T F I T S. Outfits. Next speller. Your word is transform. This word passed from Latin to English. It is a verb to change completely or essentially in composition or structure. Transform. Transform. We have to go through your initial spelling. It is spelled T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. Next speller. Your word is amused. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from an element that went from Greek to Latin to French and an element that went from Latin to French. It is a verb, entertained in a pleasant manner. Amused. The reality show amused Jaleesa for a few episodes, but after a while it became too predictable, so she stopped watching. Amused. Amused. The word is spelled A M U S E D. Next speller. Your word is thousand. 
This word is originally English. It is an adjective, being 200 in number. Thousand. The word is spelled T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. Next speller. Your word is Chris. This word is originally English. It is a noun. Any of the num numerous plants of a family of herbs whose moderately pungent leaves are used in salads and garnishes. Chris. 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 I'm sorry. Chris. The egg and Chris sandwich is a classic British snack. The word is spelled C-R-E-S-S. -S. Your word is combat. This word is from a Latin word that became French and then English. It is a noun. A fight, encounter, or contest between individuals or groups. Combat. Combat. C-O-M-B-A-T. Combat. Next speller. Your word is pantry. This word went from Latin derived French to English. It is a noun, a room or closet next to a kitchen used for storing food or glasses and dishes. Pantry. Next speller. Your word is internet. The first part of this word is originally Latin, and the second part is originally English. It is a noun. An electronic communications network that connects computer networks and organizational computer facilities around the world. Internet. Internet. I-N-T-E-R-N-E-T. Next speller. Your word is pouch. This word is from an originally Germanic word that went through French before becoming English. It is a noun. A sack or satchel of moderate size for storing or transporting goods. Pouch. Next spell it. Your word is bestie. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is made up of English elements. It is a noun. A person's greatest friend. Bestie. Bestie. B-E-S-T-I-E. Bestie. Next speller. Sewing. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. It is a verb. Uniting, uniting, attaching, or fastening by stitches made with a flexible thread of filament. Sewing. Sewing. The sewing we were looking for is S-E-W-I-N-G. Your word is ignore. This word passed from Latin to French. It is a verb. To refuse to take notice of. Ignore. Ignore. I-G-N-O-R-E. Ignore. Next speller. Your word is gather. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is originally English. It is a verb. To bring together into a crowd or group. Gather. G-A-T-H-E-R. Next speller.
Your word is globally. This word is originally English. It is an adverb in a dismal, dreary, or gloomy manner. Glumly. G-L-U-M-L-Y. Thank you. Next speller. Your word is strong. This word is probably from German. It is a noun, an idle and leisurely walk. Stroll. S The word is spelled S T R O L L. Next spelling. Your word is plaza. This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. It's a noun. A public square in a city or town. Plaza. P-L-A-Z-E-C-A. The word is spelled P-L-A-Z-A. Your word is rotten. This word passed to English from Old Norse. It is an adjective. Decay, putrid, rotten. R O T T E N, rotten. Next spelling. Your word is important. Originally Latin, this word went from Italian to French. It is an adjective marked by or possessing weight or consequence, significant, important. I M E O R T A N. Next speller. Okay, a round of applause for round two. that passed through German and French before becoming English. It is a noun, 
a type of horse-drawn carriage that was used to make regular trips between stations while carrying people and goods. Stagecoach. In the famous story, Cinderella's fairy godmother turned a pumpkin into a magical stagecoach. Stagecoach. S-T-A-G-E-C-O-U-C-H. The word is spelled S-T-A-G-E-C-O-A-C-H. Next speller. Your word is dapper. This word went from Dutch to English. It's an adjective. Neat and trim in appearance. Dapper. Can you repeat that? Dapper. Celine looked dapper in his new suit and hat. Dapper. D-A-P-P-E-R. Next speller. Your word is vision. This word passed from Latin to French to English. It is a noun. Something seen otherwise than by the ordinary sight. Vision. Next speller. Your word is gloaming. This word is originally English. It is a noun. Twilight, dusk, gloaming. The word lonely. Gloaming. G L O W I N G. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The word is spelled G L O A M I N G. G O O A M I N G. Thank you. Next speller. Your word is disdain. Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. It is a noun. A feeling of contempt for something regarded as unworthy or beneath one. Disdain. Disdain. D-I-S-D-A-N-G. The word is spelled D-I-S-D-A-I-N. Next speller. Your word is engulf. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word consists of a part that went from Latin to French to English, plus a part that went from Greek to Latin to Italian to French to English. It is a verb, to flow over and enclose, to overwhelm, engulf. The crowd watched as firefighters battled the blaze that threatened to engulf the building. Engulf. E -N -G -O -L -L. The word is spelled E-N-G-U-L-F. Next speller. Oh, another round of applause for that round. Your word is termite. This word is from Latin. It is a noun. Pale colored, soft body, social insects that live in colonies and feed on wood. Termite. Termite. T E R M I T E. Termite. Next spelling. Your word is graduate. This word came to English from Latin. It is a noun. One that has received an academic degree, a diploma, or certificate. Graduate. Graduate. G-R-A-D-U-A-T-E. Graduate. Next speller. Your word is furniture. This word is from an originally Germanic word that became French before becoming English. It is a noun. 
Articles of convenience or decoration is tables and chairs for use in living quarters, offices, and public and private buildings. Furniture. I'm sorry, the word is spelled F-U-R-N-I-T-U-R-E. Next spell. Your word is invisible. This word is from Latin-derived French, it is an adjective and capable of being seen through lack of physical substance. Invisible. Invisible. I-N-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-L-E-S-I-B-
your word is four arms. This word consists of original and English elements, a plural noun, the parts of the upper limbs between the elbow and the wrist and primates. Four arms. Four arms. F O R E A R M S. Next bell. Your word is inventory. This word is a homonym or could be confused with another word. This word is from Latin. It is a noun. An itemized list of current assets. Inventory. Inventory. That is incorrect, but please, before you leave the stage, have a seat right there. We have a different set of rules for the last two spellers. Next speller. Inventory. And then you have one additional word to spell. Recital. This word is from an original Latin word plus an English element. It is a noun. An exhibition concert given by music pupils. Recital. Recital. Give a hand to our winner and our winner. Um, if you will introduce yourself and tell us what grade you're in.